All right, first I would like to show my audience here. I have my zoomies from my class. So I'm gonna set this right here. All right, so according to the Small Business Administration statistics in 2018, about 20% of all businesses fail within the first year. By year five, half have failed. And by year 10, there's only one third left. So now that we have the coronavirus, we have to bring this into the conversation as well. About 200,000 businesses have closed since the coronavirus. So you're probably wondering why anyone would ever choose to start a business, right? Well, my name is Art Schubach, and I'm here to tell you that starting a business is very rewarding and achievable as well. A lot of people wanna open a business because it can be very freeing. It can be very rewarding and even empowering. Maybe you have an idea for a product or a service, but you just don't know where to start. Starting a successful business is a process that takes research, planning, and finally execution. I myself have started two successful businesses. One is here in Ypsilanti, Michigan. It's called Zion Well, it's a yoga and meditation studio. And then we also own a retreat company called Zion Retreats and we do wellness adventures. First, I'm gonna discuss the research phase. Next, I'm gonna discuss the planning phase and then finally the execution phase. So the very first step in starting your business is going to be research, tons of research, in fact. A lot of people find that their current job is just something that they hate. Maybe they have a toxic boss. So this isn't a good enough reason for you to open a business. You need to have a true purpose and a true passion. According to Alan Moon's article, How to Start a Small Business Online, the purpose of your business should be to fulfill something that is not currently being fulfilled. You're gonna to need to decide at some point if you're gonna offer products or services, right? This means that you need to also understand your skills and your own personal value. According to James Clear's book, Atomic Habits from 2018, the secret to maximizing your odds of success in a business are to put yourself in the right field of competition. So that means Michael Phelps might not do quite as good if he was running a 100 meter dash, right? He's in the right competition. It's likely that whatever you're passionate about is also something that you're good at. So I would start there. The next, you must research your target market and also your competition. Decide who your customers are. The best customer for you to look for is gonna be someone who is just like you. That's gonna be the easiest way for you to market to them, right? You'll know what they like. Learn everything that you can about your customers who you're targeting. According to the article on the Small Business Administration's website called Market Research and Competitive Analysis, you'll want to research everything from demand to location to even price point. Next, you'll have to decide whether your business is going to be in person or just simply online. My business is both, and for this reason, I do feel like we may have made it through the pandemic, honestly. You'll learn about your competition. This is an important step because it's going to tell you how you can make your company unique to you and also whether or not your company is even needed. Lastly, you're gonna decide who your support system will be. According to Mike Lewis's book, When to Jump, when you start to tell people about your plans and your business is when it truly becomes real. This is gonna help keep you accountable with your goals as well. According to Emily Hayward's article, So You'd Like to Be an Entrepreneur, there are many advantages to having a co-founder. This is something that I really strongly recommend I have a co-founder, that's my wife. We have totally opposite perspectives and skills and that really helps in making decisions. Decide if you'll need financial support. That's another type of support that you might need. And you can look to friends, family, and even banks for help with that. So now once you've done the proper research and you have the right supporters in place, the next step is planning. First, you wanna to start to write a business plan. So a business plan is a detailed roadmap that's gonna help you organize your business for the present and also for the future. According to SBA's article on how to write a business plan, your business plan should have the following sections included. An executive summary, company description, market analysis, organization, product slash services, whether, whatever you have, marketing, funding, and finances. Your business plan should also state your mission and your values of your company. 
you want to begin to plan next the name of your business, right? According to Richard Herrick's article, 12 Steps for Naming Your Business, finding the right name is honestly the key to have a significant impact on your success. The wrong name can actually do worse for you than failing to connect with your customers. You're going to want to do some searches on the name, right? In Michigan, where you're going to search is the uh, Licensing and Regulatory Affairs website. And then if you want to look nationwide, you're going to have to look at the U.S. Patent and Trademark website. Next, you can begin to plan your social media name as well as your website name. That'll be the final step. Now you have some legal steps to your business, right? Some plans. There's different what types of ways to structure your business. You have an LLC, you have a corporation, for uh, sole proprietorship, partnership. Those are the options. In James Hart's YouTube video, How to Legally Start Your Business in Eight Tips, he recommends consulting with a legal advisor for, before you ever choose a structure. Your business might also need to be registered or licensed in some way, so it'll help to plan those steps. With a strong plan, the next step is to execute. This will ultimately lead to your business opening, right? Um, first, you'll decide if you want a team, and then you'll hire them. You want to find some staff that shares in your vision. That way they can help inspire you if needed. Considering hiring people to do things that you're not an expert at, right? Maybe you're not an expert at graphic design or website design or even photography. So look for some help. You might also be able to get some help from some student interns. That's something that I did. I got a work study program through Eastern and I had someone help me with email campaigns and things like that. Creating your brand is gonna be the next step in your execution. Logo is very important. That's another point of, that you're gonna to have to search the US Patent and Trademark website for. Um, you also wanna make sure that your website is impeccable, right? According to Alan Moon's article, How to Start a Small Business Online, you have fewer than five seconds to get someone's attention on a website. If you don't, they're never coming back. Lastly, you wanna launch your business. So for this step, you wanna think of kind of like a creative opening plan, right? Free product, a giveaway, something like that, and maybe you network with the community, another business. Lastly, you'll register your business with the state, the IRS, and even open a bank account. The final step is to simply open. So for you, that could be in person or it could be just launching your website. Whatever it is, this is what everything has led up to. Today, I've kind of gone through the steps in researching your business, planning your business, and then finally executing. Starting a, a successful business takes a lot out of you, that's for sure. In conclusion, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. It is one of the most rewarding things I have ever done and also one of the most challenging. It has been really amazing to witness my impact on my community. And that's something that you really wanna focus on if you decide to do this, right? Think of all the people who are gonna benefit from what you have to offer. Maybe this was your very first step. Congratulations.